The African Development Bank on Monday said that the unemployment situation in Nigeria is frightening and could become catastrophic if jobs were not created for the country's youth population. It raised the concern at the regional presentation of a report entitled Creating Decent Jobs, Strategies, Policies and Instruments in Abuja. The report, a compilation of policy recommendations from some of the world's leading labor and development economists, also looked at the unemployment situation in different African countries. Senior Director, Nigeria Country Department, AFDB, Ebrim Afal, in an address, said Africa was currently facing a job crisis with the African Economic Outlook estimating that 20 million new jobs are needed to be created annually until 2030 to be able to absorb new entrants to the workforce. And joining me now in the studio to discuss about this is Dr. Femi Edou Adegoke, who is a public affairs analyst. Now, Dr. Femi, good, good morning. morning and good to have you here. Thank you. I'm sure you saw that report. What's your first uh, thoughts when you saw that and they say it's frightening? How do you react to that even? Well, my first reaction was that they're saying the obvious, what is staring us in the face. Because we know that there is so much unemployment especially among the teeming Nigerian youths, because we have about over 60% over of our population now is said to be youths. And then there's no job. You see youths roaming the street. It takes me back to what we've discussed before. That's when there is um, an I do mind, it's devil's workshop. You find youths who don't have, it's not an excuse for them. It's not an excuse for them. But the issue is that youths who don't have jobs, who are not employed, they take to other devices, mm -hmm. and that's where we have so much fraud. So, yeah, it's frightening. And then our population is growing exponentially. It is said in some statistics that in, by 2050, Nigeria will actually have over double our population by now. Mm -hmm. By then, we will have about almost 400 million people, which about 130, which is more than a quarter, will be of youth. Mm -hmm. So if we don't do something now, then... We're headed for trouble, yes. so to speak. Yeah, it's not only Nigeria, it's all over Africa, because I read in that report as well, that Africa in general needs to create 20 million jobs mm -hmm. annually. To 2030, yeah. until we are able... That's the only time we're able to yeah. get out of this. Having said this, I mean, yes, it, they talked about African country, but let's come back home to Nigeria. What would you identify as the major causes of unemployment, really? Well, the... Major cause is being three. There is what we call unemployment, there's underemployment, and there is unemployability. Yeah. We have failed as a country to plan. And when you fail to plan, you have planned to fail. Mm. That's what the saying says. Over time, successive government have not planned, as in have no strategic planning on how to create uh, employment in the country mm -hmm. and then we have universities churning out and we even have these unskilled people we don't care about them there's no training that are for skilled and unskilled labor in this in this society mm -hmm. so and everybody's heading for I want to get a degree I want to get a degree and then come to the slim market everybody's struggling to get a slim market so there has not been proper planning there's not been proper strategy on how to create jobs on the part of the government, and they've not created proper policy for private individuals to come in into the space as well. Should we all depend on the government in terms of job provision? Can the government do it all? No, the, job, the government should not do it all. But the government has a role to play in this direction. I always said the government's role is actually to create a path which everybody will now fall in line and then we'll be able to pick. I'm an entrepreneur. I, I play in the environmental space, but I can tell you that space is, is majorly underemployed. Mm. And it's not because there's no job. There's job to be created, but people are not employable. That's another problem. So, and then for young entrepreneurs in Nigeria, the atmosphere, the uh, environment mm -hmm. is not conducive to tribe. So the government, need, that's where the government comes in. There's so much that the private sector can do. And there's so much SME can bring on board on job creation. The last administration came, I think, about, uh, they call it UWIN. That's to, as a program to create a small, medium, and large uh, enterprise uh -huh. for, to create employment. 
It was done, but we don't know how successful it was. And that's another problem. We run a system, we run a program that we don't evaluate and monitor. Mm -hmm. So those are the areas where government needs to come in. Okay, having said that again, what would you highlight as the key role that private sectors need to play? Well, the private sector, uh, I think I read in the article as well, where the chairman of Manufacturing Association of Nigeria was speaking. And which is, the fact is that the private sector needs to keep knocking at the door. And we need to ask the government to create the right path. Mm -hmm. And the political will, again, from the government is very key. It's very key. Okay. Yeah. Having said that, I know you mentioned that you are an, an entrepreneur. Yeah. So our question would be, how can the government actually encourage young people into that path of entrepreneurship to be able to create more jobs? Okay, this present administration has come up with different uh, models. Well, but we don't evaluate, like I said earlier, we don't monitor how far are those models working mm -hmm. and what is the rate at which it's producing or increasing our unemployment rate or reducing our unemployment rate. Um, there is so much that the central bank is doing, the BOI Bank, uh, Bank of Industry, they're doing a lot of. Uh, incentives and grants for young entrepreneurs. But the, the challenge is, is cumbersome. The process becomes cumbersome and people are not interested. So you have to make the policy and the strategy has to be friendly to bring more people on board to employ more Nigerian youths. Mm -hmm. Many thanks, uh, Dr. Femi, there Thank for you sharing much. your thoughts.